idea. Now, I don't think, yeah, this is sent to me by Apos. Apos.audio pasta, not Amazon. Uh, you might be able to find it on Amazon. We'll find out in a bit. And by we, I mean, well, you're probably going to ask me to link it, and I'm going to be like, well, I don't want to. I'm too busy. Touch time. I caught that a little bit. I apologize. I made a scratchy scratch. Thought I had more than that. A little, I also thought it might be in a um, cardboard box before it was just... Jesus Christ. Gee, where's my real sharp knife? My Type 301. Oh! Holy fuck. I'm trying to change the blade on that other knife, I think. Yes, link to the Chroma 301, I think. Which one is this? This is the, uh, yeek. Utility knife. That was like 50 bucks, and holy shit, is that sharp. I will switch to that as my regular unboxing knife if enough people demand it. Um... Anyway, this. The APOS Audio offered it to me. He's like, hey, do you want to review this? And I'm like, uh, sure. What is it? It's cut off via, like, that's a JPEG they, they blew up, and then it cuts off the bottom of it. Qualus QA390. And this is not cheap, but it looked cool, so I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Not cheap and looks cool? I'm down. Zeos is down. Zeos is fucking diz down. Q-U-L-O-O-S. Kulus. High performance music and digital to analog converter and headphone amplifier. Sold. I hate this in like an unboxing. Like I just, I could fix almost all unboxings. First of all, never ever have the booklets in front. Secondly, don't put this shit around this. Literally just send me this with like a ribbon tied around it. That I want to open it up and I want to see something. Nothing is not good. Something would be nice. An emblem, a symbol, not paperwork. I have the greatest unboxing experiences if I sold products. This actually looks very, very much like the stuff that uh, comes with the 789. Just pointing that out. Oh my. Oh my. Hi Fi Lossless Pure Sound Music Player. I guess we'll go over the stuff on the right first. Pasta, make sure you get the link for a post from me, specifically, because I got to make the 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 thingy go. Okay, someone watching this unboxing decides to buy it. So we've got a USB C, very thick cable, janked to all hell. Branded Qualos with an aluminum. That's an aluminum head. Oh my! Fake it till you make it, ladies and gentlemen. Fake it till you make it. We now have uh, also a transformer, a hunt key, 12 volt, two amp. Okay. We've got, what the fuck is this? A Quolos micro SD card, USB three card reader. Look at that. Micro SD and SD card card reader with a micro SD card adapter with a 64 gig extreme pro fucking card in it. So right off the bat, that's that added into this, which I don't know why they give you the adapter. I guess they buy the thing from SanDisk and it just comes with the adapter. You would just take this, chuck it in your drawer and actually do this, this, yeah, you do that. So now this is an actual ST microcard USB card reader, USB 3.0, so that's probably fast. We've got a standard HD, uh, standard USB cable, A to B, I think. Let's see what that is. How's our jank situation? Not good, Captain. Just ro figure out ways to roll these things up, ladies and gentlemen. This is by Ventian. Like venison, V-E-N-T-I-O-N. 
It's a Ventian cable. So we got USB-C cable for some reason. USB adapter, power adapter, USB adapter. I feel like this is a remote control. I know it's gonna probably, it's very heavy, so it's definitely one. Oh, baby, baby. Where have you been my whole life? That is, that is smooth. That feels so smooth. Chewbacca, feel how smooth this is. You don't have opposable thumbs. You can't actually enjoy this as much as I can. Plus, she's all furry, so it'll put, everything feels smooth there. That is one of the nicest stock remotes I've ever felt. Like, I have, like, massive stupid ones. Like, this is the QES one. But this one is just like, all right. Whatever this cost them was well worth it. We've got mute. I'm sorry, we have volume down, volume up, reset, RST. M back, up, down, left, right, enter. F minus F plus, back, next, and exit. Oh man, it's so nice to touch. No rubber feet on the back either. I guess we're left now with just this unit. And my, what a unit it is. This is an entire unit of measurement. There's another thing. I, I know they kind of have to put them in these bags to prevent damage if there's water or anything, but um, ruins the unboxing experience. Like a velvet bag maybe is fine, but if this was just sitting in there like that and I touched it and it's got fingerprints on it, my God, my, wait, it's got an SD card reader on the side. Why does it need a USB thing adapter to fucking adapt? There's not even, there's not even, I guess they give you the this to fill it. They literally go all the way to the point of like, hey guys, this way you can fill it, and then you can install it, and you can install your SD card, buddies. And it goes like that. Oh, man. I got a strange feeling this is gonna end up in my bedroom. We have got, are you ready for this? Power switch. Now these switch, whoa, did that just light up? What? How is it on? How are you on? Oh my god, this is one of those crazy audiophile ones that literally runs off of a battery. And all you do is recharge the battery because wall power is too dirty, so it internally fucking... Oh my fuck god. It just... There's music playing out of it. Hold on. Jubers, I know. This is madness. Daddy's gonna borrow Joe's uh, Ironwoods for a second. Because I just whipped this out and it's playing music already. Totally playing La Vie en Rose. That looks like an SMSL screen with the SMSL colors, but... Hey everybody! What do you use for your portable? <laughs> Sixteen bit forty four. This is. I'm officially gonna go sit in a. I'm gonna go sit on a fucking. What? Next track. Pause. What? Why are up and down next track? That's illegal. What do you even do? Fast forward. Wow, that sounds good. 13,200 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt, 48 watt hour. Do they make a leather case so I could just sort of like... All right, I'm officially... That's officially retarded. The best kind of retarded, not the bad type of retarded. Can I say that? It's allowed, right? All right, so I guess on the top, now this is in Chinese, so I have to obviously switch the menu. This doesn't matter. A battery is low. I should probably shut this off. And it's just a switch. It's not even like a digital switch. Then there's DC charge on off. Then there's one and two to indicate that. That's the infrared receiver module, because I could tell. Here's your four pole balanced out. Then here's three other balanced outs. 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, 
3.5, 4.4 balanced outs, then single-ended outputs of quarter inch and three and a half millimeter. This has every possibility that is in existence, except for that square balance connector that was really fucking weird that was on like one, was it a Fostex or a Pioneer? The Pioneer had that weird square one. So that's that. Here's your volume knob, which is like, doesn't pop out or, and it, it worked smoothly enough. Here's your controls on top. The back side's got right out, left out. Oh my God, I'm reviewing this in like a fucking, in my car. We've got completely, that's actually a nice feature that the RCAs are embedded like a half inch so that the cables when they come out won't be sticking out at least a half inch. You've got optical out, optical in, USB phone, so I could just wire this to my phone. Charge, USB phone is a USB micro. Charge is a USB-C. USB to PC for the DAC is that. DC into charge the internals is a fucking, is a big thing. Or this, you could charge in either one. Even though that's 12 volt, this one. So you could charge it with a 12 volt or reduce the speed and charge it with a five volt. Holy shit. That's madness. This is maddening. This is a ma that's why this thing is over a thousand dollars. That's the, uh, the madness has set in. Do you realize if they let me keep this, what's going to happen, right? I'm going to be just like chillaxing on my couch and I'm just going to shove this fucking thing like right here. I listen to music, right? I mean, this is the way it currently sits. This is basically a Fio M11. Thousand. A Fio M11 thousand. Oh, the review for this is going to be glorious. Thank you for stopping by this unboxing. Um, for the Ridiculon 8. The Ridiculon QA390. That's hilarious. I'm glad I got it in red with the black and not the black with the red. That's way more striking. Uh, link to it and that knife in the description and Princess Pasta's Patreon, because she's the best. No, 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 not her Patreon. No, 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 Pasta, don't link your Patreon. Link your YouTube channel. Everybody, you wanna know who Princess Pasta is? Check out her live videos on her YouTube channel. Doodaloo!